Hey, I'm Scott from New Garden Road. I set up drip irrigation in my raised beds about five years ago. Let me show you an overview of the components that I use and the design for my specific garden. I've got a really basic mechanical timer here. Next up, you've got a backflow preventer. Next in line, I have a filter. And next here, you'll see we've got a pressure regulator. This is just a standard hose that I cut up and added some fittings to. By simply adding a four-way splitter and cutting some hose to six-foot lengths, I'm able to water four beds at once. Each six-foot length of hose has a quick quick connect fitting at the end for ease of use. Off of each elbow or three-way T fitting, I have an eight foot piece of tubing. And along that tubing, spaced 12 inches apart, I have a two gallon per hour button emitter. There's a specialized tool that you use for puncturing the lines and then you can just pop in those button emitters. So I end up with one emitter for every square foot of soil. Each run of tubing has a figure eight closure on it. That enables me to open up the line to clear out any debris. Keep it organic.